Good morning, everyone. I'm Honor from PowerPoint uh, team. I'm working as a software uh, engineer uh, on PowerPoint API updates. Today, I'm, I would like to show you some of the upcoming Shape APIs that we are planning to release. The these Shape APIs, we can start by uh, mentioning some of the insertion APIs, like uh, you can insert geometric shapes, lines, and text boxes. And on top of that, you can manipulate some of the basic properties of these objects, like position, size, and the name. And afterwards, a bit of the advanced uh, parameters, you can continue to man uh, change the line and fill properties of these objects, like color, transparency, style, and weight. Then I would like to mention more on the text frame and range properties, like retrieving the text, setting the substrings, uh, changing font name and size, uh, manipulating alignment, color, and style. Uh, at this point, I would like to do a live demo. You can see my screen. I have prepared a sample add-in here to showcase these, these APIs. And I'll start by maybe inserting uh, a, sh a rounded rectangle into this uh, slide. These are the properties that will be available uh, for, for this shape that can be queried by the add-in. I will go to each one of them one by one. But before that, let me also show you another case where we can insert these uh, shapes and objects by using um, more coordinates, like uh, not in, into the default position. And whenever I, I want to add a line, it's added to this, this like 100 by 100 position. Or I can add a text box uh, with a specified text uh, as before as in uh, Visual Basic uh, APIs. Uh, this is kind of an interface where I choose which shape I want to interact with. And I would like to go back to this um, middle shape here that I inserted. And I want to maybe retrieve the positions and the, the size of that shape, and maybe change that to some other location, and maybe change the width and height of this shape so that I can demonstrate more of this stuff. Here is the name of the shape. Let's change it to like my shape. And it should update into the selection pane as well. I will try to clear the color of this shape, set it to like a, a solid color, change the four color of this. And this accepts all the uh, JavaScript standard colors and HTML colors as well. Uh, I will probably maybe set the transparency on this. Uh, let's, if we move to the line properties, for example, currently it has a line weight of one. Let's change it to 22. Let's change uh, the color to red and maybe change the dash style to dash dot dot. We can also change this line style to like something like this. Maybe I also add some transparency. Uh, on top of that, if you move to the text frame properties, I want to show you some text, but let's add maybe some text here. It's there, but it's in white color, so let's change the color of the text uh, to black, maybe. And it's a bit small, so let's see. It's a, it has a like font size of 18. Maybe if we set it to 46 or that should that should that looks good enough. And if you go back to text frame properties, I can set like some left margin like this. And I can see that it has been wrapping, maybe uh, disable word wrapping or re-enable it back. If I get this back to five and maybe add some additional top margin there, uh, we can manipulate those margins and let me continue by changing the vertical alignment to maybe bottom or middle or any of these combinations like centered versions. We can also manipulate some of the uh, sub ranges of this text as well. So if I start from character two and take three characters, and if I look at the text, it's ELL, I can change that part to be bold, italic, maybe change the color to something else. Um, the font name there is Calibri, so let's change it to Comic Sans MS and maybe change the font size on that. Also, maybe add some 
um, underline into that with some properties. We can also change the the pair of properties like left, right, and justification on this. Uh, we can also add the add a bullet point to be visible or not at this point. Another point that I want to show you here is um, this also expands to the shapes in the masters and layouts as well. So for example, I have prepared a button here to create some slides for me, which has some, some, some of these fancy shapes with different background colors. And for example, I want to use the main master to insert a, maybe let's say a star into the main master in that location again, which means that all of my slides will have that shape and I can easily ac access into that similar to what I did before. So for example, if I change the layout of these last three slides to something else, and maybe um, I, I know the layouts by indexes here, so I, I change, uh, I know that layout is the first layout in the, in the, the second layout, let me say, in the list. So I, if I add another object there, maybe like an hexagon, just underneath that star, not underneath, but <laughs> right of that star, I can see only those three slides have that thing. And I should be able to see the, those same changes in my master's view, including the layout and the main master changes. On top of this, um, let me see if I can get that object. It's an hexagon and maybe some add some text into that so that I can show you that we can change the text uh, from the uh, main master as well. Here it is. And uh, this was all that I, I wanted to show you for today for the Shape APIs, upcoming Shape APIs. Uh, we are hoping that this will be uh, in desktop Windows desktop and Mac builds for insiders around September timeframe, and it could be in production for in in everybody uh, in everybody's builds around October timeframe. Uh, and PowerPoint Online will get an update sometime in August. And that was all from my end. So thanks, owner. That's really awesome. Yeah, uh, thank yeah, thank you very uh, much for for listening. Uh, if if you have any questions, feel free to reach us uh, through email or through. Office Voice or some other channels. Mm -hmm.